Hi everyone, my name is Omar Gabr. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Instabug. So uh, for those of you who haven't heard about Instabug before, we are an Egyptian company based in Egypt, uh, in Giza, and we have an office in Palo Alto, California. Uh, we've been honored to win the MIT Business Plan competition in the past uh, competition in 2013. Uh, we're building the first bug tracking platform optimized for mobile apps. So we allow seamless collaboration and communication between mobile app developers uh, at this side and their users or their beta testers on the other side. Uh, we've been public uh, in public beta since July, and now we're nearly crossing 500,000 registered users that can report bugs through Instabug. So uh, if any of you are developing a mobile app or even thinking about developing a mobile app, this is a must-have tool for your development and your future communication with your users. So check instabug.com to, to get more feedback. Uh, so we've been dealing with hundreds of thousands of users using Instabug over the past uh, years, and we've been, many of these apps have been, we have been interviewing them, their apps and their developers, and many of them have been adopting the, the, the solo mode concepts. It's really interesting because it's, it's, it's the conversion of collaborative and location-based and on-the-go technologies. All of these technologies have been available since 2007 probably, but it hasn't been till 2010 or 2011 that have been evolving and mature and completing each other. It's, it's, you know, it's really interesting because they combine the opportunities of mobile platforms such as iOS and Android and social networks such as Facebook and Twitter and local commerce and, lo and other location-based services. So uh, I think in the past year, based on our experience, many companies have managed to tie together all three forces into a really effective and, and huge product. Um, the biggest example that I have on the top of my mind is, is probably Nike. Nike Plus has a running app that, have, that is really social. It's location-based, and it's totally mobile to, to, to have it while you're, you're doing your workouts. So all of these aspects, the, the, the social and the local and the mobile, have been reinforced together to produce this wonderful product. Uh, I believe Solomo is, is basically the integration of any social network platform with the physical location of, of yourself. So the, the, any, a clear example of Solomo integration would be most of the social mobile apps that are aware of your physical location that can you interact with it from your mobile device, and you can both input information such as probably check-in, post, uh, ratings, review, etc., and to receive information with it, such as uh, pr search for products, get store hours, get reviews, get promotion from the business uh, around you. Uh, one of the interesting things that uh, I think businesses have been taking a huge, a huge advantage of, of, of this emerging uh, concept of this emerging technology, which is basically that you can micro-target your consumers wherever and whenever with relevant content and information and probably offer them promotion and discounts, offer them uh, based on their location near your, your, your stores, which is information that are basically designed to be shared on your social media. So taking that into consideration, social media is the platform that you use to promote your messages and to engage your users. Local is the area of concentration or the area that you feel or online uh, are there. And mobile is the medium where you communicate with your brand or where the brand communicates with, uh, with the prospects or, or with the end consumers. So probably Foursquare, Groupon, Yelp, and Facebook have been, you know, have been the top leaders in, in, in this field, and they already took advantage of, of, of this amazing technology to, to grow their business. Uh, and actually, Solomo principles have been increasingly integrated in the search engine queries to deliver extremely location-based uh, content and information. So instead of searching for a specific restaurant, he checks your location first to get the relevant data re related to your location and related with your social uh, recommendation and the, the places where your friends or your uh, co contents have uh, have recommended. 
so I think it's it's a really important factor that why is is someone there? It's not about what any it's 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 not about any it's it's not about that uh, they are any basing uh, your whole decision on a single piece of information. It's it's uh, it's it's the information that you can extract from that. So uh, it's not about focusing on the location itself. It's f focusing about why someone is there and why you want to be there. So I think this is the the future, and actually this is what we're working on. Instabugger is is trying to use predictive analysis and app introspection and finding patterns in user steps to just predict their behaviors and anticipate the problem before it happens and provide them with a better experience. Uh, finally, I think that probably the, the, the or definitely in, in in my humble opinion, the future of of uh, of Solmo is definitely in the wearables, and actually wearables is is a really great interest uh, for us. It's an area that we are working hard in it. I really can't talk much about what we're doing at Instabug in this particular f field, but it uh, it's really interesting. Uh, probably because the, the the rise of of wearable computing such as Google Glass is something that we need to really highlight. Uh, this could give a fourth dimension. Instead of having the social and local and mobile, it will have fourth dimension because most of these apps can anticipate the user needs based on all the data that they can get. These wearable have, have full details about what's around you, the temperature, the sound, uh, how fast are you moving, so much information that it's really amazing that it can provide you with products and services before you really need them. So it's amazing to 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 imagine that you are wearing your wearable device and it's know it 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 knows everything everything uh, around you and it automatically implement or even suggest actions based on uh, on this information and and it definitely most of these apps will be uh, without bugs because they are probably using uh, Instabug Insta and this is the yeah exactly and this is. Uh, uh, the, the future, I believe, for Solomon, this is the future that we are developing right now using Instabug. Uh, 